13th Istanbul Fashion Conference continues. We started early in the morning and now it's time to address energy, especially focusing on solar and its efficient use within the framework of fashion and industry. So our moderator is Dilek Bill and she will be joined by Kerim Baran from Civil Solar and from Schmidt Pekintash Energy, Özhan Olcay is with us as well. So, Ms. Dilek, I'll again leave the floor to you to follow this exciting session. Thank you. I suppose this is going to be the most difficult one because it's the last panel of the day. But thank you so much to everyone who followed us so far. Well, Turkey has a huge potential for solar and installed capacity is ever increasing since 2003. When you think, think of the economic structure and the pandemic conditions, well, it shows us that uh, foreign financing support is crucial. So how do you see solar and where can solar position itself in fashion and textile industry? Well, thank you so much. I hope that it's going to be a good session to everybody. When you say solar, well, first I must tell you that we should check the uh, potential. For example, Arab countries have a great stock of oil, but the most natural resource in our country is solar. But in order to collect and use it, you don't need to dig a lot, you don't need any pipelines, because it's a clean energy. As a renewable, as a green energy, we can benefit from solar greatly. So in this regard, especially sectors that exports greatly. Uh, textile can benefit from clean and renewable energy sources like solar because it will be a great advantage for the industrialists and soon it will become indispensable not to benefit from it. We have German counterparts to uh, consult, we put out a great effort to bring solar to Turkey. We carried out a thorough um, research and then convinced parties so that we could convert our fully automatic production facility to have solar energy. Through the eyes of an industrialist, let me focus on the pros of why you should invest in solar. First, you should seek economic uh, ways. Unit price is 52.44 Turkish Liras for energy now. Loss or the pays, additional pays, or the taxes, of course, increase this price. But what's critical here is the green tariff and its contribution payment. It means so Mr. Özan is having a technical difficulty, so now let's continue with Kerim Baran. We were just following the potentials and the advantages of solar energy, but I think it's okay now. Yeah, I'm sorry. So I want to wrap up my ideas on the renewable energy. In our country, there is a great 
advantage when a company has its own facility and when they have the solar energy generation also installed in their own factory then this will bring a major advantage i also want to bring something else to your attention because of this there are certain advantages clean energy is a necessity as of our responsibility for a clean environment okay thank you so much and what you have said is very very important and of course we uh, clearly stated the advantages of this uh, now I'd like to give the word to Karim Bara and Karim is one of our young entrepreneur entrepreneurs he established his business in Silicon Valley and he sold them and he switched to new uh, areas when he sold the Civic Solar which is the Amazon of solar energy industry After uh, getting a major experience in the industry, he sold it to his biggest competitor, but he didn't give up on the industry and he established Solar Academy. And now he started a social initiative, uh, Why Solar Energy? Now I'd like to hear the social aspect of this. What does he do for the social benefit of this project? And also, what does he think about this topic in regards to Turkey? Thank you, Dilek, and thank you, Bloomberg HD, for giving us a great opportunity. We learned a lot. So what I want to share is that in the last 10 years in the U.S., uh, along this time that I've spent in this sector, well, I've witnessed a lot of different trends, a lot of changes. And I've witnessed how these trends, these changes can shape the coming 10 to 20 years. Well, first, let's talk globally. Most advanced countries, including Turkey, are aware of the carbon emissions and they are aware that one third of it come from small buildings then and other one third of it comes from transportation especially from big vehicles such as trucks so in the law in the coming 10 to 20 years tens of millions maybe hundreds of millions of buildings will convert to solar energy batteries or they may benefit from other uh, sources like wind, hydrothermal, but I'm sure that they will convert to solar energy. In the last 10 years in the States, electricity, I mean, 0.1% of it was from solar, but now almost 2% of the total energy consumption comes from solar which makes it 20 times more of cons more solar consumption so in the last 10 years solar panels uh, witnessed great advances in the technology and ROI dropped to 5% so this is a uh, asset bringing on dividend in five years which makes which means cash on cash and it's going to be even greater because the cost of panels the installation costs the system costs drop 10 to 20 percent annually so the economy of this will even improve 
and of course it's impossible to capture all solar energy but 25 square meter uh, 25 square meter is a great potential for solar turkey has a great potential for potential for solar if only we can use one percent of the land of turkey then we can cover the entire need of energy there can be big massive solar parks as well but what should be done right now is instead of bullying our neighbors around Mediterranean, we can have, we can come up with incentives that can include all parts of the society. And if only we could establish small to mid-scale solar parks then we can have a sustainable future and then maybe we can improve our relations with our nation uh, with our neighbors so let's focus on the coming 10 years when you look at the energy companies or grid companies in the u.s they are biggest argument towards solar was that okay solar is everywhere but it has its own office hours from nine to five what are we gonna do during night time was their argument but their answer is battery storage technology and how fast it's improving panels got cheaper five to eight times so a panel that was around $750 is now just $150. Use it in the northern countries, use it in the southern countries. It's gonna generate a great deal of energy. Of course, the labor force or the installation might increase its actual price, but battery prices drop uh, significantly. So. In 10 years, solar plus batteries can be powering entire buildings plus cars and trucks. And the cost? Will be cheaper to maintain. So six cent kilowatt hour will get cheaper. This is gonna be possible and it's gonna change the world. There will be diversity, social diversity, air pollution will just go away and it'll be great. So I have a question. I mean, the price drop is great, but when you invest in the industry then there will be a dividend around 40 to 60 percent in turkey it's like 20 percent and the roi is around five years but maybe it's because there is this artificial cheap pricing for electricity but if you want to be sustainable and protect the environment, then we should start investing in these uh, areas right now. And 20% dividend is not that bad at all. Yeah. So, Mr. Ersan, do you think we can have uh, factories that can self-generate its own energy? Well, it's indispensable it's not a matter of there will be or there won't be it is going to be a must factories or facilities should uh, start generating their uh, electricity if they want to have competitive advantage well we import a great deal of energy and minimizing the cost 
can support experts and make experts be more advantageous. How is it possible? It's possible through solar. Textile industry is one of an uh, export engine. It requires a great amount of energy, but it also requires clean and high quality energy because there are lots of machinery, lots of automation going on. As much as the quantity of it, the quality is also important. And machinery are not move, move mobile and components are durable and their life cycles are long. So process and production is on the advantageous side as well. And just like Mr. Kirim said, what you produce during daytime can be stored and be used during nighttime. This is possible. Do your math. If you don't want to pay a lot of money in the past, well, do your math now, and it's way more advantageous now. And when electricity prices go up, the ROI becomes shorter and shorter. And if you want to have high quality production, if you want to increase your overall qu quality, then go visit top factories. They have renewables, even though the percentage is low, because it brings them a great competitive advantage as well. Well, Ösan and Kerim, thank you so much. And uh, Dilek, I want to thank you for your moderation. You helped me a lot to moderate many sessions. And now I want to thank Özhan uh, Olcay from Schmidt Pekintaş Energy and Kerim Baran from Civic Solar. So we are so close to the end. And